One of the most exciting new features of the DJI Avatar 2 is the new Easy Aggro and Easy Drift mode, allowing you to easily do one button flips, rolls and drifts, even as a beginner. Today we are going to take a look at how you use these new modes, along with a demonstration as well as a few tips to help you get the best results. Let's jump right in. Now the first thing to be aware of about this new mode is that it's only available if you are using the RC Motion 3 controller. If you're using the FPV Remote Controller 3, you can't use the Easy Acro and Easy Drift modes. It's intended to be used with the Motion Controller only. So let's get the drone in the air, which we do by double pressing on the lock button to start the motor spinning. And then we press and hold on that lock button again, and the drone will automatically take off into the air. Now, to enable the new Easy Aggro mode, you want to bring down the top menu by using the joystick on the goggles, and then scroll across until you see the new Easy Aggro mode, and you want to select this. Now, on the left side of the screen, you will see this new menu appear with three options. And you can navigate between these options by using the new scroll wheel on the motion controller itself. So if I scroll the wheel downward, you can see I can move downward between the options. And if I scroll the wheel upwards, you can see I can move upwards between the options. Now, the first mode you will be in by default is the slide mode. And this is the traditional mode for the joystick. So if I push the joystick left, you can see the drone is now flying sideways left. And if I push the joystick right, you can see the drone is now flying sideways right. You can also push the joystick upwards to ascend and downwards to descend. Now by default, the drone out of the box will actually fly sideways and ascend and descend very slow, even in sport mode. So if I change into sport mode now by pressing the mode button and then start ascending using that joystick, you can see we are still ascending very slowly. Now to fix this, you can actually adjust the speeds at which the drone will ascend and fly sideways by going to the settings menu by pressing right on the joystick on the goggles, going to settings, going to control, and then motion controller. And then here, if you go across to gain tuning, you can see we can now adjust the max lateral flight speed and the max vertical speed. And we can do this for normal mode, or sport mode. So I'm gonna go into the sport mode settings and adjust the max lateral flight speed to the fastest setting, which is eight meters per second, and the max vertical speed to its highest setting, which is nine meters per second. And now if we go back and I use that joystick to ascend the drone, you can now see it's ascending much faster. And if I fly sideways, you can see we're now flying sideways at a much faster rate. So let's now take a look at the first new easy mode, and that is the easy drift mode, which we can turn on by scrolling down until the 180 drift mode on the left side of the screen is highlighted. Now what this mode allows you to do is to fly in a certain direction, but then by pressing on the joystick, you can rotate the drone around 180 or drift it around so that the drone now faces in reverse, but will continue flying in its original direction. So let me give you a demonstration of this in action. So if I start flying forwards by squeezing the trigger inward over the top of this little building, but then as I pass over it, push the joystick left, you can see the drone has now rotated around 180, but we're continuing to fly in that original direction. And when I let off the trigger, the drone will automatically stop. Now to do this, it's very simple. Just pull the trigger inward to start flying forwards, and then anytime you want to rotate the drone around, just push the joystick in the direction you want to do that 180, either left or right, and the drone will automatically rotate around. You don't need to continue holding the joystick, as once you push the joystick in a certain direction, the move will happen automatically. So let's just do that one more time. I'm gonna go over the top of this building, and once I pass over it, I'm going to rotate around to the left by pushing the joystick left, and you can see we do this awesome drift move, and now we're facing backwards, to get a better view of this building once we have passed over it. Now, just quickly, if you're getting value from this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and clicking that like button down below. And if you love all things drones, but also action cameras, gimbals, and more, and want to learn about the best settings to get up and running quickly, along with tips and tricks to help you get more cinematic videos and better looking images with your gear, then please consider clicking that subscribe button down below. And when you're down there, be sure to check the notification bell so that you will be alerted when my new videos are released. It would be greatly appreciated.
Now the next mode down, when we scroll down on the menu on the left side, again using that scroll wheel on the motion controller, is the new easy aggro or flip mode. Now in this mode, you can do one button flips or rolls, either left or right, or forwards and backwards. Now to do this, you just want to push the joystick in the direction you want to flip or roll. So if I push the joystick to the right, you can see the drone will roll right. And if I push it to the left, you can see the drone will roll left. Now the nice thing about this is we're not flying manually. So you don't need to hold that joystick until the drone does a complete roll and then let off it. You just need to simply push the joystick in the direction you want to roll. And then you can let off the joystick and the drone will do the move automatically. We can also do a front flip by pushing this forwards or a back flip by pulling it backwards. So that's how you do these flip moves or roll moves when the drone is stationary. But the really nice thing about this new flip mode or easy aggro mode is you can do these moves while flying the drone around. So as I'm flying forwards here, I can do a roll or I can do a front flip and the drone will continue flying forwards as I squeeze the trigger. And what this means is you can incorporate these rolls and flips as you fly the drone around to start getting some really dynamic movement as you're capturing footage. Now something to be aware of when you use this mode is the fact that as you do flips and rolls, the drone actually does lose a little bit of altitude. So you want to make sure you have your drone up nice and high when you're doing these moves so that as you do a flip or roll, it doesn't clip the ground. But there's actually a really nice safety feature built into the flip mode. So if I fly really close to the ground here, when the drone detects that you are too low to the ground and you try to do a flip or roll, you can see that it says aircraft altitude too low, unable to perform easy aggro. So it actually prevents you from doing these flips or rolls when you're very close to the ground. The other thing to be aware of is that the easy drift and easy aggro mode is only available in the normal flight mode. Whenever I change into sport mode, you can see that the 180 drift and flip has become unavailable. So you must be in normal flight mode to use these. The other thing to be aware of is once your battery gets low, only the 180 drift mode remains available. The flip mode becomes unavailable when the battery level gets low. The last thing you want to be very, very careful of is whenever you're bringing the drone back to land, you want to make sure you have changed back into the slide mode or turned off easy aggro. I personally use the joystick to maneuver the Avata 2 around when I'm bringing it down to land. And the last thing you want to do is to press the joystick to ascend or descend the drone or push it left or right to fly the drone sideways when you're trying to land it and instead have the drone do a flip, as that could end in disaster. So you want to make sure that you change it back into the slide mode or turn off easy aggro as you're bringing it back to land. So there you have it. That's a full walkthrough of the new easy aggro and easy drift modes available on the DJI Avatar 2. And I think you will have a lot of fun trying out these new modes. Now, if you want to learn even more about the DJI Avata 2 and the main differences between it and the first generation Avata, then here is a video going over all the differences between the first generation Avata and the new Avata 2 that I highly recommend checking out by clicking up here or by clicking the link in the description down below.